Coming up tonight, the fourth-ranked Pitt Panthers try to continue their unbeaten home streak as they go for win number 19 in a row. The Panthers also searching for that number one spot in the national rankings coming up. Welcome to the Peterson Event Center on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. There's plenty of pink here today because the women's game was played earlier with pink as the theme. It's DePaul against number four Pitt. And we've got Big East Conference basketball from the city of Pittsburgh coming up. I'm John Sanders along with Dave Kaplan who by the way was here when these two teams met a couple of weeks ago and also has his own big time basketball radio show in the city of Chicago. Happy to have him along. What about Pitt? Huge win over UConn. Now they've got to play a team that hasn't won a game in the conference. No, but all Jamie Dixon has to do, John, is tell his guys, look, with a minute 45 to go first half, two weeks ago to the day, DePaul had a 33-29 lead. So this is a team with a couple of really good players, and they play hard. Speaking of really good players, we're going to talk about a couple of sophomores. In our star watch tonight, Dar Tucker is a sophomore, and Dewan Blair, one of the better sophomores in the country, obviously. Dar Tucker is an outstanding scorer. He can get things done in transition, but Dewan Blair is a man. This is how a man plays at the high level of Division I. He dominates inside, he rebounds like a demon, and he can even step back and knock down the jumper when he goes up against bigger guys, like he did against Hashim Thabit from UConn on Monday night. Dewan Blair is an absolute warrior and that was one of the more memorable plays from that game let's talk a little more about Dar Tucker leading his team in scoring so far this year right he gets his points in a variety of ways he'll beat you off the dribble he will also knock down the triple he scores among the trees inside and he plays with a real great tenaciousness he loves playing against great players you see him fly down the court there he'll be ready to go tonight and he'll be ready to go against an outstanding pit team. LeVance Fields is a guy who'll be looking at a lot tonight. We've got Big East Conference basketball from the Peterson Center on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. The Blue Demons and the Panthers starting lineups when we come back. I was getting depressed because of all the stress I was feeling at home. Had a poor credit score and the number would haunt me wherever I'd go. But I moved to a place where my credit could stink and nobody would care. I just wish that somebody had told me that place was a renaissance fair. FreeCreditReport.com. Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom. Never mind them and singing our songs since we first showed up with our pirate hats on. If you're not in the fake sword fights, pointy slippers and green wool tights, take a tip from a knight who knows FreeCreditReport.com. Let's go! Offer applies with enrollment in Triple Advantage. Isn't it about time you heard some good news? Hyundai has it. It's called Hyundai Assurance. Finance or lease any new Hyundai, and if in the next year you lose your income, we'll let you return it. Only Hyundai has it, along with America's best warranty. And Genesis, the luxury sedan named 2009 North American Car of the Year. Ready for the best news? Right now, the fuel-friendly Santa Fe comes with big cash back, with other CUVs starting under 13000 Good news, great deals. Hurry to your Hyundai dealer. Along with Hyundai Assurance, gift a five grand cash back now at your participating Hyundai dealer. Tonight's Big East Network game from Pittsburgh is being brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Welcome to the Peterson Event Center. Second meeting in two weeks between the Panthers and the Blue Demons. Pittsburgh won on the road in Chicago two weeks ago. There is Jerry Wainwright now in his fourth year as the head coach, 51 and 66. Did win 20 games a couple of years ago. Took his team to the NIT. Also coached at UNC Wilmington and for a couple of years at Richmond. And Jamie Dixon, what can you say about him? He's just been outstanding. Starting lineups for both teams. We'll start with Kelly, Tucker, Walker, Koshwal, Kosic, and they have used a dozen different starting lineups. Everybody on the team except one has started at least one game this year. So it's another shakeup as far as that lineup is concerned. This lineup, uh, Dave, has been the same all year long. The only newcomer really was Jermaine Dixon, who came in from junior college. And you look at it, that's why they're so tough. They got a senior floor leader, and they have a bunch of guys who know how to play together. Good refereeing crew. Jim Burr is our head official. Reggie Greenwood and Paul Jansen are the others. And the opening tip controlled by Jeremiah Kelly, a freshman from Chicago. Well, one of the credits that Coach Wainwright was giving Coach Dixon and the Panthers is the way they bring these kids in and build them up. 
and they don't get much playing time when they first start out but eventually they become key parts of the team rebound number one for Dewan Blair he had a smile on his face nobody's gonna rip the ball got away a from smile him. on his face that's gonna be short but he's up with the follow and it's good he had a 32 point game two weeks ago in career high he did and there he gets the hoop and the harm and he he's a very animated player but he's really excited to play tonight after just dominating Hashim the beat and watch him here he got no chance silly foul to pick up for Koshwal because he's not going to stop him from the backside so just let him have the basket and move on rather than give up a foul. Not a lot of touch on that free throw but it did go so the first three points belong to the Panthers as we are underway here in Pittsburgh PA. So in 33 seconds he's got two rebounds of basket and a free throw. And that proverbial big smile on his face handled there by Walker. Long range shot is good to tie the ball game. That's Dar Tucker. He's a 28% three point shooter. It's the three there to even it up. That number, though, 28% deceiving because when he gets good shot selection, he's a better shooter than that. But they've been down so many times, he's felt like he had to shoot them back into the game. Young for three. Biggs had the rebound, lost it. Tucker comes out of there with it. Here's Blair leaning away from the hoop and can't score. Well, DePaul will have it in their blue uniforms. The Panthers in their home white. Tucker on the drive and draws the foul. That'll go on Blair. Kelly did a nice job. I mean, big, sorry. Taking it right to the rack. He knew there was no one there that's going to take the charge on him. He had the angle and he gets himself to the free throw line. 64% free throw shooter. Trying to give the Blue Demons their first lead of the ball game. And he can't do it with that first one. He knows he is in for a very, very tough task tonight because Levance Fields may be my favorite player in college basketball this year. You talk about a guy who knows how to govern tempo and run the show. And as you said earlier today, we were together watching the shoot around. He may go all for eight, but when the game's on the line, he makes shots. He sure does. Wide open is Blair. What a pass. The dunk's the easy thing. What a pass. Delivered it right on the money. Out in front, handling the basketball now is Kosich. This is Jeremiah Kelly. He missed those two free throws. For three. The rebound to Young. Not really the shot Jerry Wainwright wants. His big guy stepping out, and then nobody under the glass to be there for a rebound. And the Panthers get a lot of points. There's a three-pointer by. Briggs, Blair underneath with a follow, didn't go, but somehow he got it back and pushes it up and in. The game in Chicago, DePaul had a four-point lead with a buck 45 to go first half, and then Pitt went on a 13-0 run to close the half, and it was because they dominated the backboard. Do you realize they missed 36 shots? They rebounded 18 of their misses. 50% of the time, they went and got the ball back. Well, he leads the nation in offensive rebounds. Leads the Big East in rebounding all together. That's an air ball into the hands of Blair. Panthers up by four. Levance fields outside off the Blair screen. There's another three from the side. And this one goes for Tyrell Big, a 6'8 senior who believe me Dave has waited his time to get the play he has waited his time and he's not a guy you really think of that's going to step out and knock down threes for you but what the Paul's doing here defensively is they're trying to play a little bit of zone tonight get out to the corner and challenge with one of the big guys he was just a day late and a dollar short getting out there big squared up and knocked it down well seven points five rebounds already for Blair and a 7-0 Panther run over the last minute and 24 seconds in the pink this was Pink the Peterson today as the women's team defeated, uh, let's see, they played the Cincinnati earlier today. The theme of Pink for breast cancer research. It was a wonderful environment in here. I was talking to, I think his name is Dave, who was one of the student organizers of this zoo crew behind us. They were here at 11 o'clock this morning, three hours before the women's game. I said, well, why so early? We had to choreograph tonight's antics. <laughs> Uh, the shot of the guy in the pink tux, that's Agnes Baranato, the head coach's son. 
who was appropriately dressed in a pink he box. Decked out to the nines. And Agnes had on a pink leather jacket today. Into the lane, little runner, off the mark, rebound Blair. Here's Fields. Young ahead of the play. So Fields slows it down. Waits for the screen, puts up a two, and got it. And I love what he does. He comes down, and a lot of guys think, I'm going to get mine and take it right to the rack or may force a bad shot. Pull it back out. Let me survey the landscape. No one put a hand up. Okay, I'll take the jump. Kelly, outside. Feeds Tucker. And we've got some action inside, and it's going to go the other way. It's an offensive foul. The foul is called on number 31, Posich. Pia Posic picks it up. You see Jerry Wainwright, Wainwright having a conversation with Reggie Greenwood, longtime Big East official who's this is going to be his last season. He's taking over as a supervisor of officials, and there's a breakout finish with authority there by Tucker for five points for him. Cuts off that Panther run. Twelve five to score. You see the two three zone that's DePaul, DePaul is playing. And they're trying to get very aggressive and they're going to get an offensive foul here. Real nice job to slide over and take the hit. Sam Young will pick up his first foul on the drive. You saw that patented head fake. The Panthers doing it with authority early on. Leading the way, of course, is the big pan number 45. We'll be back. From that first dollar forward, cash flow isn't just an important thing to small business, it's everything. That's why PNC is introducing your new CFO, Cash Flow Options, designed to effectively improve your cash flow. CFO helps every dollar work harder, from the very first dollar to the last dollar of the day. Get in touch with your new CFO. PNC, leading the way. Have you seen how good the Big East is this year? But hey, based on its tradition, are you surprised? The numbers don't lie. Start with 16 prestigious universities, 15 of whom have played in the Final Four. Five have won national championships. Eight are among the winningest programs of all time. Throw in four Hall of Fame coaches, dozens of All-American players, and I don't even have time to tell you about all the classic games. It's called tradition, baby, and a new chapter's being written as we speak. A new Individuals are getting crushed by high credit card interest rates. People just can't keep up with the rising cost of gas. Families find it almost impossible to pay for groceries. Cambridge's certified counselors are hearing comments like these from consumers all the time. Many feel they have no choice but to turn to their credit cards just to keep up. You may be asking yourself, is there a way to avoid unmanageable credit card debt and deal with rising costs? The answers to your questions are a phone call away. Cambridge Credit Counseling can help you find the answers you're looking for through personalized advice. Not only can Cambridge help you get out of debt, they'll work with you to develop a plan to deal with rising costs. No more debt and a solid financial plan. Pay down debt. Deal with rising costs. And get the answers you need. We're the answer. We are Cambridge Credit Counseling. Call now for your free consultation. 1-800-965-5775. That's 1-800-965-5775. The lead has been as big as nine. Right now it's seven with 15.48 remaining in the first half. And right in the middle of things is number 45. This guy is an absolute beast inside. That was the first play of the game. There's a great pass by his general, LeVance Fields. He gets a dunk. And look how he just outworks everybody. I mean, he just comes not only with that huge body, but he gives you that warrior mentality, that great work ethic. And you look at his numbers against the beat. Well, if you look through his career against John Brockman at Washington, 7 of 13, 14 boards. Kyle Singler of Duke, he had 20 rebounds at 15 points. Against the beat, he played unbelievably well. 22 points at 23 rebounds. Against Heron Gody in Notre Dame, 23 points, 22 rebounds. And when he faced Matt Koshwell two weeks ago, 32 and 14. He's There's another the rebound. Stop. He missed the putback, though. And then he commits a foul. That is his seventh rebound. That last foul was on Posich, and he's got two already. 
take away the foul on Young. It was not an offensive foul. One of two at the foul line. Building it back to an eight point difference. Outside it's Kelly. Picked up by Fields. This is Walker. Short jumper from the side. Too strong that time by Koshwal. And the putback bending, bending off. And there's another rebound for Dewan Blair. Well, Kenny Obi has to finish there. He's seven foot one. He benches over 300 pounds, but he has to get more leg strength. Had himself a chance. Looking for his second three is Bakes, but it's no good. And on the baseline, the Blue Demons not able to hang on, so they turn it back to the Panthers. 13 5, 15 08 remaining. Juan Blair now with seven points, eight rebounds here in the first five minutes. Bending short, tipped up no good. Again, almost another putback for Blair. Now Tucker crashing the glass hard, comes up with the ball. Now DePaul has to really do a good job of getting into their offense and getting a good shot opportunity. Walker with it, working on Dixon. Bring it back out now to Tucker. Drives the lane, puts up a runner, rattles out. He'll track down his own rebound, puts it up from the baseline off the edge of the glass and into the hands of Blair. Here comes Dixon flying down the court, missed the shot, and that's going to be offensive goaltending charged on Biggs. Yep. Basket interference. That ball is hanging there. He might have fallen. Already 10 rebounds in this game for Dewan Blair. Subs coming in for both ways. Seeing a lot more of Gilbert Brown, who was out in the early part of the season with some injuries and checking back into the lineup now is uh, Chris Faber for the first time. Look at that. Averaging almost 13. He's got 10 tonight. I watched him when he came out of the court before the game started and you could tell some guys are locked in ready to go. He was locked in ready to go. Stula outside. Hands it off to Bazookas. Now it's Walker on a drive. Loose ball tracked out by Wanamaker. Another sophomore. Runner by Wanamaker won't go. Look at Blair. Follow that shot and run it in. God. That is unbelievable stuff right there. It's amazing. Some guys are great rebounders because they position themselves and they outwork people. He understands where the ball is. It's almost like he's got a magnet and he's drawn to it. Tremendous, tremendous play. Back outside now, handled by Faber. That's a three on the way, and it nestles in the net. Good shot that time by Walker, his first three, and that's the second for them tonight. They made a three-pointer in 485 straight games, so it's been a staple part of their offense for a long time. Will Walker, a Chicago area standout. When he gets a chance to set his feet, a very good perimeter shooter. Now Coach Wanamaker was saying that's what we need to do as Young turns around and buries his first field goal. We need to keep more of those Chicago kids at DePaul. That's the key. You have to build a fence around the city of Chicago <laughs> right. and the surrounding suburbs and go, you're not leaving. Sorry. Because there's plenty of talent to go around in that fine city. Spin move, jump hook, and a good finish that time by Koshwal. His first basket. Mac, one of the better big guys in this league, has very good athleticism. A bit raw yet with his footwork, but he has a chance to be a very special player. He's only a sophomore. Well, this is a very young DePaul team, but if you look at it on paper, and certainly the Panthers have some veterans. Overall, they're younger. Young is going to draw another foul. They're actually younger than DePaul, which is amazing. They are, except when you just look at the starting lineup. That's true. <laughs> That's where you get. You got those three seniors on there. Oh man! And you get Levance Field, Young, who's going to the line. Uh, young is quite a story. I mean, he is a remarkable young man. Uh, plays piano, took lessons. 18 to 10 is our score right now, and you can see that Notre Dame outlasted Providence in Providence. Marquette has defeated Georgetown. The Hoyas have really struggled at home, haven't they? They have. The Hoyas are going to be hard-pressed to get to the tournament. They have got to continue to win. Sam Young, though, his inspiration for playing the piano and taking lessons from his came from his blind brother, Michael Spriggs. Spriggs competed in high school in both wrestling and judo, and uh, very much a mentor for Sam Young. Nine-point edge right now with 12.25 to play. We're still in the first half. Bazookas handles out in front. Sets up Stula. 
Here's Walker with it. Wanamaker on him. Walker. He'll stop and go move down the lane as it's stripped out of bounds. And it belongs to the Panthers. It went off his leg. He did a good job getting a hand in there. There's a huge upset right that there. That is a shocker right there. If you're a Pitt fan, you, you count the notches to try to get up to where maybe Oklahoma is going to be number one. Right. But they have to beat Texas too. Tonight in Texas, that crowd is fired up. Watched it today on game day. They are jacked. This is Wanamaker with it, where he played just over eight minutes of the opening half. Along with Dave Kaplan, I'm John Sanders. We're on the Peterson Event Center, right here where the football stadium used to be. And I think everybody in the traveling party for DePaul is very impressed with this building. It's a tremendous building. Young, quick turnaround. It's too easy, isn't it? Well, they're running a 2 3 zone, but what they're doing is they're taking the middle guy and running him to the wing when they have a chance in the corner. But that whole middle area is left open because the guy in the middle is looking to cheat to the corner because Pitt does such a nice job knocking out shots from the wing. But McGee, the is, McGee is out there. He is replaced. That's going to be a foul on Wanamaker. But that middle area, it's very tough to guard the middle and get a hand on the perimeter and double team the post. Well, the story so far in this game has been Dewan Blair. That's why Pitt has the lead. You're in the market, but what do you want your numbers to add up to? Maybe a time-tested way to help reach your financial goals. At Oppenheimer Funds, we follow proven principles, like investing for the long term, so you can ride out the market's ups and downs, and perhaps end up with the second career you've always wanted. Call your advisor for prospectus with complete fund information. Read it carefully and carefully consider fund investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses before investing. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. spray and they're not buying you a thing and they're going to look stunning or as one man will whisper sublime and people will stare as this not you fresh from the Roman baths sips extra bubbly champagne and when they finally retire to luxury slab they'll enjoy something even bubblier the life you were meant to live Caesars Atlantic City Big East Basketball on SNY. Get all your first half highlights, analysis, and all the latest conference updates and news from our team of Big East experts. Live from the SNY studio on Harris Halftime Show. Coming up only on SNY. SNY.TV, taking you to Port St. Lucie. Get a behind-the-scenes look at spring training with live blogging, exclusive player interviews, and constant video updates throughout the day. Right now on SNY.TV and Metsblog.com. 21 to 10 is our score largest lead so far for the Panthers. This is Oscar weekend and my partner Dave Kaplan has decided to join the action. Huh? I did. We have our Big East Oscars. We'll get these to you in the second half. But I have a best picture a best actor for supporting actor a director for best coach and best foreign language film. That's best the one that intrigues me. Best foreign player in the league. So I had a lot of fun putting that together. All of that coming up in the second half. And of course, if I don't agree, then I can cancel out your vote, right? That's exactly <laughs> right. No question. Blue Demon basketball. Under their own basket, playing in front of the home bench in the opening half, as they always do in college basketball. Here's Jeremiah Kelly. And the man defense out of Pittsburgh. Usually a hands-on man-to-man defense. That was a nice feed that time as Kelly was able to set up Koshwall. Real nice job on the dish to Koshwall that set the whole thing up. But Pittsburgh has to do a better job at making sure they get a hand in and do not let that pass get in there. Gary McGee is a little late getting over there, and that's what created the foul. Jamie Dixon not happy there. 
Koshwal, another Chicago product. He's got the size. 6'10", 240. He's only a 57 percent shooter at the line. And he makes them both. He just gets better and better. He just has to continue to work on his low post footwork ability to hit that 12 15 foot shot. Wanamaker to Brown to Wanamaker. Ashton Gibbs is on the court for the first time as Wanamaker has it out in front. Good feed along the baseline. I'm not sure who it was intended for. I think it was intended for Brown, but McGee got his hands on it. I think you're right. I think Brown flashed along the baseline and was actually open on that diagonal pass, and McGee saw the ball come flying in and got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. So Kelly will walk it up for the Blue Demons. Nearing the midway point of the opening half. Blue Demons trying to avoid a school record 14th consecutive loss. And they've all been in Big East play. This league by far the best conference in the country. Not even close. Shot clock inside 10. Tucker's going to have to go. And they do get it off and he hits a three. It's a big shot right there for Stula. Stula did a real nice job because his feet were already set. The shot clock went off and the ball was in the air. Very good job to be ready to put the ball up. 5 0 run now for the Blue Demons trying to climb back in it. That's a three, kind of a line drive three. McGee had a piece of the rebound, gets it back, and will go to the foul line. DePaul has got to do a better job boxing out on the defensive glass. They're giving up too many opportunities. You can look at DeJuan Blair and say, okay, he's the best there is in the country. But when he's not in the game, you've got to get a body on these guys and keep them off the backboard. That's the key to the game because Pittsburgh rebounds 48% of their shots they miss. And that's an amazing number if you stop and think about it's it. It's insane. It's a crazy number. Coaches would kill to get 30-some percent. Almost 50% of the shots you miss, you're getting a reset and another opportunity. Two of two at the line for nope. We're going to wipe it out. He stepped over the line. All right. They got in a little bit of a hurry. <laughs> he had only made five of 15 on the year coming into tonight. He thought it was going to go, so yes, I got to get up there and look at this. <laughs> Don't see too many of those. Look there, at that. 11 for Dewan Blair, six for DePaul. Panthers all together have 15 rebounds. This is Tucker with it along the baseline, lost it out of bounds. He started to peak a little bit that time, didn't he? He did. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. He saw the pass come in, and he looked, and oh, I can get a shot off, and before he corralled the ball, it had bounced out of bounds. 22-15, Panthers have led throughout. This is Gilbert Brown. Fields is back on. You mentioned that Blair is back as well. He's got it along the baseline. Look at the double team. Now Brown. Now Sam Young is not playing. Here's Blair. He is double teamed and he is fouled, and that is going to be number three on Stula. Golf fans, club pros, registration for the 2009 ESPN National Golf Challenge is already underway for courses and teams in the gross, net, and the new 55 and older senior division. For more information, log on to ESPNGolf.com. Lance Fields with it. Just inside the nine minute mark. I like what the Paul's done defensively here today. I thought Jerry Wainwright put a really good game plan in when we were at practice earlier. Very aggressive with this 2-3 zone. It's really a hybrid, and they've done a nice job. It's just Dewan Blair is an absolute man inside. Biggs draws a bump and a block. Nicely done that time by Koshwal to get the block. Pitt struggled to run their offense there. It's a little bit different than what they saw two weeks ago in Chicago. Nice backdoor play, and he's wide open underneath. Kelly's first points of the game close to within five. Now. Panthers had been up by 11. A nice little push by DePaul. Fields almost lost it. There's Biggs. Brown for three. Here's Blair on the weak side. Back up off the glass. Center. 
Weak side rebound, really tough to stop. The ball did a good job. They contested the three with Koshwell flying at the corner. Blair's got those meat hooks and just plucked it out of the air. And he specializes in double doubles, and he's got another one tonight. Nice drive that time by Kelly, who gets his second consecutive basket. Tough shot. On the move, a righty going to the left to the baseline and flipped it up off the window. Fields for three. That one rattles out. And guess who's underneath? It's making it look easy, isn't it? Jerry Wainwright just looked incredulously and said, how did he get that? How did he get that? He's, the guy's unbelievable. Doing the hard work inside is Dewan Blair, and it's paying off for the Panthers. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to free credit report.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts. So you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Nobody gives you more power than interstate batteries. And we have a national warranty program with over 200,000 dealers to back it up. How do we make them so powerful? <laughs> now that's a secret. Get the battery with more power in it and the most power behind it. Interstate batteries, outrageously dependable. Brought to you by Hampton Hotels. At Hampton, we love having you here. Oh, yeah. ah! oh, yeah. Earn double Hilton Honors base points. Real value from your friends at Hampton. My father was a uh, baseball coach and football coach. He never touched a basketball in his life, but the teams he coached, I always watched how he took the least talented player on the team and wanted to make him the best. Learn about programs to help you manage your energy bills, save money, and discover simple tips to cut your energy costs. Call 1-877-NY-SMART or visit heatsmartny.org. base points. Real value from your friends at Hampton. 26-19. This is game number 27 for the Panthers and for DeJuan Blair it's double-double number 17. Look at the effort and how good his hands are and the presence he has. See how he rips that ball down? Bam! He claps the two hands together, makes sure he has it, and it goes right back up to the window. Doesn't put it on the deck, doesn't let guards get down there. As soon as he feels pressure coming, ball's gone. 31st in his career, there is Larry Fitzgerald, who played his college ball here and uh, gave the Steeler fans quite a scare in the Super Bowl. Well, I'm from Chicago, and we don't know what a wide receiver is, so I'm thinking <laughs> of seeing if he wants to come back with me tonight. Larry, you want to go to Chicago? We need a player. Well, he had a terrific season. The best wide receiver in Chicago plays for the Cubs, Jeff Samarja. <laughs> Oh, you radio talk show hosts. <laughs> Gotta stir it up, don't we? 7 <laughs> 10 to play, first half. Panthers have never trailed. There's a three pointer on the way and good. Wow. <laughs> Jamie Dixon just shook his head and went, nothing we can do about that. That's, That's exactly a bomb. right. That is a bomb. It's the second one tonight for Tucker, who's got eight points. There's Young back on the court. Fights it up, missed, tipped up, and good by Blair. Well, DePaul did a good job defensively. They flash to the corner. This time they take the middle away by pitching a tent in the middle. Three guys around him, and Blair gets the stick back. Another unbelievable play. And with that in mind, they're going to bring the big guy back on to the court. Kenny Obi. See, the problem with... Using a guy like Kenny Obi in this game is his lower body strength isn't there yet. 
and you're talking about one of the strongest players in the country in Dewan Blow. Wanamaker has this rebound. Just over six to play in the first half. The lead is seven. Fields to Wanamaker. Young for three. Rattles out, but that's one rebound he didn't get. He didn't get that one. Mario Postic's did a nice job to rip that one down. Tucker from outside. Comes up short. And there's another rebound for Dewan Blair. The, the question is, if the game stays close, will he get 30-plus rebounds? I don't know. That's a three by Dixon. Got it. This guy's getting more and more confident. And here's a junior college transfer from Tallahassee. An extremely mature kid, brother of NBA star Juan Dixon, lost his mother tragically to AIDS, and his brothers raised him along with his grandmother. And he was forced to grow up at a much younger age than most. And uh, his aunt is the mayor of Baltimore. Very mature young man. Well, the two-game record for rebounds belongs to a guy who could really board, and that's Jerome Lane. That's off the mark. A rebound. That'll be number 38 for Blair in the last two games. So that ties the all-time record. Do you even have to say who got it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody else is grabbing it. And stripped away from Young as he worked the baseline. Some subs coming in. It'll be Biggs checking back in along with Gilbert Brown. Blair's coming out. He just looked over to me. See what he just put his hand. I don't want to come out. I'm having a good time. <laughs> a lot of fun here. Back to the 10-point lead. It's been as many as 11 here in the first half. This is Gilbert Brown. Jumping out on him was Stula. Here's Levance. Good movement out of DePaul's defense. Really doing a good job. And Dixon well short with that three. He had made the previous one from about the same spot, but this time he comes up empty. So it's DePaul basketball, 32-22. Four and a half minutes remaining in the opening half. I like DePaul's effort defensively. Really doing a good job. Great movement in their zone. But they don't have the answer for 45 so far. I don't know if there's anyone in the country that does. <laughs> Baseline shot rattles out. Vance Fields has a weak side rebound after the miss that time by Kosic. We have another timeout with 3.59 remaining in the opening half. The Panthers are up by 10 here in Pittsburgh. Now that college is a few years behind me, it seems I've got three times the bills I used to. And they're getting in the way of things I'd like to do. With the money bar, I can move my money around instantly. So when there's more bills than usual, it's no problem. And I use the wish list to put any extra money aside for anything I want. Being in control of my money feels good. Introducing the virtual wallet from PNC, a high definition online view of your money. PNC, leading the way. The 2009 ESPN National Golf Challenge presented by Callaway Golf is sure to be an event to remember. Join the search for America's best twosome in any of three divisions. Low gross, low net, and the new 55 and older senior division. And don't forget the ever popular club pro competition for those who qualify. Log on to ESPNGolf.com to register your team or golf course and start practicing so that you can join the festivities in Las Vegas. The Ford Quality Drive is here. Ford Edge has gone above and beyond my expectations. You know, I got everything I wanted and more. The sync system is all voice activated. Call Andy. Calling Andy. Hi, Steve. Get an Edge all-wheel drive SEL for just $2.99 a month at your tri-state Ford dealer today. For over 25 years, every player, every conversation, every ritual, every spin, Every wish has had one thing in common. Spalding, the official ball of the NBA for over 25 years. 
The Ford Quality Drive is here. I'm actually really, really excited with this car. I love it. The mileage was like one of the most amazing things. I'm excited to drive it every time. I'm very impressed by the quality of my Fusion. Get a Ford Fusion for just $199 a month at your Tri-State Ford dealer today. We're back, 359 to play, along with Dave Kaplan. I'm John Sanders, and we expected a lot from Dewan Blair, and he is not disappointed, has he? We have not, but what? This is not an 0 13 team that's quitting at all. They're playing hard. Look how they contest every pass in that 2 3 zone. Every pass, they're jumping to contest it, and watch when they finally get a shot. They contest the corner, they swing it again, they swing it again. There come the blue shirts, and they get a hand up on the shot and force a bad shot. That was an outstanding defensive possession for Jerry Wainwright's club. Good to see. Well, that's one thing that Jerry told me earlier today. He said, you know, we may have lost 13 straight, but these kids have not quit. They show up at practice, they work hard, and it's tough. It's an unbelievable league. Best league in America, not even close. This is Kelly with it. Keeps his dribble, shot clock at five. Tucker, long range three, and he buries it. He just blew a kiss to the crowd. If you talk about a tough <laughs> shot. Yes, it was. But rebounding margin. Look at that number. Dewan Blair has 16 rebounds already, nine on the offensive last. The ball has nine total. It's amazing. This is Gilbert Brown with it. And right now, Dewan Blair is not in the lineup for the Panthers. He said, Pump fake. That Young is so well known for. That goes in and out for the follow this time by number five, Biggs. Another offensive stick back that has been the death knell for DePaul the first time they played Pitt and here tonight. Postage outside. Gets it to Dar Tucker. This is Kelly. Back to Tucker. Postage trying to post up in there. Walker. Good screen by Kenny Obi. Shot clock again at four. And they're going to have to gun again for long range. This one won't go. And the rebound to Biggs. Good defensive set for the Panthers. Alley oop, Young. They got it to go. That's nine for the senior from Clinton, Maryland. That's two guys that know how to play because they never, ever really looked at each other. Just quick little eye contact. Don't acknowledge it. I'll throw it up there. You just finish it. Going for the steal. Young picks up his first foul. Watch this. He doesn't point nothing. Just put it there. I'll be there. And he finishes it. Well, he was either going to finish it or rip the rim down. One of the two. Absolutely. Blue Demons have the basketball. Trailing by 11. And matches the biggest lead of the half. Inside two minutes remaining to be played. That's a three-pointer. Walker hits his second. They like the threes, don't they? They do like the threes. It's the great equalizer. And Walker, a very good shooter, got his feet set and knocked it down. Here's Dixon on the drive, up and in. Got the good feed that time from Dewan Blair. Nice finish, but an excellent pass by Dewan Blair. I mean, he puts a mustard on it. Well, he's also always one of the leaders in steals on this team. Closer to Dar Tucker. Well, I think they found out they have to be. He stepped on the base. Yep, turned it over. Just ran out of room along that baseline. Just over a minute left in the opening half. This is game number 199 for head coach Jamie Dixon. And he's only 156 of them. Not too good. Coming in. <laughs> Only Big East school at 20 plus wins, eight straight years, and 10 league wins. Blair with a turnaround won't go, followed by Young. No. Sam tried to jam that one back home, couldn't do it. Took Kelly. Works the ball. There's about a 13 second difference between shot clock and game clock here at the Peterson Event Center. And in its seventh season, beautiful facility, sold out every game. Of course, the Oakland Zoo behind us as the shot clock winds to 10. Kelly with a runner and inhales it. Nice shot. Everyone was.
was edging out toward Dar Tucker, and it allowed him to have a little bit of room to operate. There's our star watch update. Big game so far for Blair. And Tucker is not disappointed either with his three three pointers. That's a three from the corner. It counts. Gilbert Brown at the buzzer. Makes it a 10 point lead as both teams head to the locker room and we will begin our Big East halftime report. We talked well, about using up all the clock, huh? And two blue shirts there. I mean, they flew at the shooter. Tough shot. He knocked it down. Well, he made the big three to close out the half. 40 to 30. The Panthers have been seesawing around an 8 to 10 point lead. They are up 10 at halftime. And it's another huge night for Dewan Blair. The Panthers in control. Young doing his part as well. Ten points is the difference. Halftime report is next. College basketball fans, welcome to Hartford, home of the 2009 Big East Women's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 10th at the XL Center. Catch all 16 Big East teams live with packages just $99 for all sessions. Tickets are on sale now, so call 860-525-4500 or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Ah, uh, look. Someone is going on your shopping spree, and they're not buying you a thing. And they're going to look stunning. Or as one man will whisper, sublime. And people will stare as this not-you, fresh from the Roman baths, sips extra bubbly champagne. And when they finally retire to Luxury Slab, they'll enjoy something even bubblier. The life you were meant to live. Caesars Atlantic City. What do you do when you know the crowd will get a little loud? The Pink Panther has the answer. The Owens Corning Basement Finishing System is not only attractive, it's dent and stain resistant. Plus, it has insulating properties to help keep things down to a dull roar, which can come in handy. Have more questions? The Pink Panther has the answer. Call to learn more about the basement finishing system with a free video and design consultation. Call 1-800-NEW-BASEMENT now. Selling your car, truck, or motorcycle can be a nightmare. Big Bucks Auto, it's easy. Call 888-44-BUCKS or go to BigBucksAuto.com. Drive in for your free cash appraisal. We'll buy your car within 20 minutes, even if it's leased or financed. We do all the paperwork. It's simple. No costly ads or psychos coming to your home. No bait and switch trade-ins and not knowing what you're really getting for your car. Don't sell or trade your vehicle until you call Big Bucks Auto. 888-44-BUCKS. Isn't it about time you heard some good news? Hyundai has it. It's called Hyundai Assurance. Finance or lease any new Hyundai. And if in the next year you lose your income, we'll let you return it. Only Hyundai has it, along with America's best warranty. And Genesis, the luxury sedan named 2009 North American Car of the Year. Ready for the best news? Right now, the fuel-efficient Sonata comes with big cash back, with other sedans starting as low as $10,070. Good news, great deals. Hurry to your Hyundai dealer. Along with Hyundai Assurance, get up to $3,500 cash back now at your participating Hyundai dealer. At the half at the Peterson Event Center in Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh over DePaul, 40-30. Gary Apple back inside our Midtown studios. The Harris Halftime Report sitting alongside the former Big East Player of the Year, Charles Smith, a very proud uh, Pitt alum, and Lenny Robbins here, our Big East insider. There was a little bit to, of debate right at the end of the half. Was that a three-pointer or a two uh, by Brown at the moment? It's a, a two, I think, Len. They're going to review it. Is yeah, that and th that's one of the things they have the option to review. Was he on the line? Was he not on the line? It it's a common-sense rule to me. So, can't say enough in that opening half about the big guy. We're talking about Gilbert, Br not Gilbert Brown. We're talking about uh, uh, Dwan Blair, who had not just 16 points, but 16 rebounds. And when you watch him play, I mean, he he he's ferocious out there. Yeah, I got a chance to really, I wanted to study him since we were talking about his rebounding ability at the top of the show. And you can't teach timing. I mean, when you look at him, he's tracking the flight of the ball. He's catching it right on its apex. So, it doesn't matter whether you're seven foot guarding him or not. He's going to get that ball. I was going to say, do you think Hashim Fadit was watching the first half and saying, so that's what hit me the other night? <laughs> you know, I think something that's interesting, you talk about a player who gets in rhythm when it comes to offense. Can you get in, and, and your guy rebounded the ball pretty well and we're a, a forced out on the low block. Can you get in a defensive rebounding 
rhythm and an offensive rebounding rhythm where you're just very confident that you're going to grab every rebound. Yeah, and, and speaking about a uh, uh, good, uh, great rebound that I played with Jerome Lane at Pitt, Jerome yep. had a knack. Jerome was more of a one-handed rebounder. You see Blair goes up with two a lot of the times or he'll tip it. Jerome had a knack of using his hips and also when a big guy he was playing against would go get the rebound, he would hit his forearm, knock him out the way a little bit and then grab the ball. So Jerome had a, a specific gift that he was able to use in rebounding. So 16 points, 16 rebounds for Dwan Blair in that opening half as uh, Pittsburgh looking for their 17th consecutive win in their building this year. They're 16 and 0 at home, 112 and 10 all time at the Peterson Event Center. When we come back here on our halftime show, highlights from the XL Center in Hartford, the number one team in America, at least for now, in action against uh, USF. We're back. I decided to redecorate our living room. But no matter what I did, something didn't feel right. And then I figured it out. It wasn't the room. What? So I used the cash I got back to redecorate my husband. Earn unlimited cash back with your City Cash Returns card to make every dollar count. Whatever your story is, your City Cash Returns card can help you write it. Because City never sleeps. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Oh, come on in. I had some other things you could tell people about Geico. Great claim service and a 97% customer satisfaction rate show people really trust us. Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Trust is key when talking about Geico. You gotta feel it. Why don't you and I practice that with a little exercise where I fall backwards and you catch me? Uh, no, sir. I, I, honestly, I don't think... Uh... No, no, we can do this. Oh, dear. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Follow both the Mets and Yankees as they prepare for the 2009 season with live reports and exclusive player interviews straight from their spring training facilities in Florida on Geico Sports Night every night at 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. only on SNY. Mets Blog. It's a grand central station for Mets information. Constantly updated and always on top of the latest hot stove season rumors and dealings with insider info, opinion, and original video. Mets Blog. Featured on SNY.TV. Gary Apple, Charles Smith, Lenny Robbins back in our Midtown studios. There's a good look at Ashim Thabit, the number one team in America, Connecticut, at least for the moment. Taking on South Florida and Dominic Jones trying to keep it close early on later in that first half. And Charles, the big fella, going to work. Yeah, when you look at how Thabit times the ball, he doesn't go for shot fakes. He waits through the ball, leaves your hand, and his timing is great. Long arms, he's able to block shots. He had six blocks in the game, and then Jones trying to keep uh, South Florida in the game, but UConn pulling away Jeff Adrian. Adrian can't get it done, but uh, Charles, again, the big fella up and under, 21-9 rebounds along with those six blocks as UConn gets the win 64-50. to Louisville also in action on the road, taking on Cincinnati, and Lenny, you said it earlier, Terrence Williams was back. Yeah, you know, it's amazing what a terrific play he is when healthy, and if you remember, Rick Pitino said that he is the toughest player that he has coached college and pro. Think about what a statement that is when you think of where Pitino has been. Cincinnati stayed in the game with some solid long-range shooting Larry Davis for three Cincinnati back within seven but they fall asleep there goes Jerry Smith in for the easy bucket and Louisville wins 72 63 they've now won three consecutive games and uh, maybe just maybe they'll get their practice gear back what was behind that whole thing Len well you know it, Rick Pitino is the kind of guy where he is going to be in the Hall of Fame he has won everything that there is to win and it's his way or it's no way at Louisville and you know when you have the luxury to do that it's very similar to what is does at Michigan State where he says guys have a nice week off find a nice cardboard box or something because that's going to be home after they lost by 33 to Louisville he took away the nice pristine practice gear at Louisville gave them just generic shorts and uh, uh, shorts and uh, shirts and socks and he said win a game on the road you'll get your stuff back well they won a game on the road they've now won three consecutive uh, as for Connecticut that's 799 career wins for Jim Calhoun the, the Hall of Famer uh, can he get his team back after the loss of Jerome Dyson well, you know, we talked about it earlier with Jerome Dyson. He's a big offensive defensive threat that's no longer in the lineup. We know that the players need to rally around his loss and they need to step up the games. How do they do that? They communicate with one another more on the offensive end and the defensive end of the floor and, and see who steps up. At the half, Pittsburgh all over DePaul at the Peterson Event Center when we come back on our halftime show presented by Harris. More Big East action, Notre Dame and Providence. 
big game for both teams as they try and keep their slim attorney hopes alive. I'm Charles and Lenny, myself, back from Midtown after this. Why is this guy counting your sheep? Telling you a tiramisu story over your tiramisu. Doing ungodly things in your garden of the gods. Knock it off. Those are your seats. That's your kiss, your date, your one chance for true happiness. The life you were meant to live. Caesars, Atlantic City. For over 25 years, every player, every conversation, every ritual, every spin, every wish, has had one thing in common. Spalding, the official ball of the NBA for over 25 years. Big East Basketball on SNY. Get all your game highlights, analysis, and all the latest conference updates and news from our team of Big East experts. Live from the SNY studio on Big East Post Game Show. Coming up immediately after the game, only on SNY. They're animated, lively, and downright entertaining. Catch the boisterous duo, Chris Carlin and Adam Shy as they take on the latest sports news on Loudmouth. Presented by Geico. Weeknights at 6, only on SNY. Everybody in action in the Big East this weekend. Marquette over Georgetown 78-72 as the Hoyas now have lost 7 of 9. It doesn't help their tournament chances. Notre Dame also in action on the road at the Dunkin' Donut Center taking on Providence. Notre Dame looking for three wins in their last four games. Kyle McElarney came out on fire and Letty. Uh, Notre Dame stepped up in a big way today. Yeah, they really did. I mean, they knocked down their threes, but here would be my concern if I'm Notre Dame. Providence is not a very physical team, so Notre Dame was able to run what they like to run, get the shots that they like to shoot, and knock them down. I still want to see this team go up against a physical opponent and see whether or not they get those same shots and make them. Ryan Ayers had 28 points in the game. Here was the dunk of the game, though, in defeat. Wymy Effie Juku down the lane, shades of Charles Smith. Oh, I don't know whether it's sage of me. I don't think I got up that high ever. <laughs> see, here's the thing, though, Gary. I'm sorry, but yes. Notre Dame cannot let him do that. If you want to establish yourself as a legitimate power Big East team, a guy, I'm not saying hurt the guy. I would never espouse that but you got to make him know that you're not going to open the door and say right this way weenie no you're right and the winning franchises they impose their will defensively on the offensive guys and they make sure that they contain them and make them do what they want them to do and those that's physical play and notre dame has not stepped up against teams like that i talked about georgetown at the top of this segment and uh, their uh, strength of schedule is number one in the in the country, they've got an RPI of about 37. Are, are they finished at this point, Len? Well, I, they're not finished simply because they have the Big East tournament. And, you know, I, I respect the RPI, and I know that people love to talk about this time of year. Remember, the RPI is just one of many tools that the selection committee uses. They look at the last 10 games. They look at quality wins, wins on the road, et cetera. So it's nice that you've played a great strength of schedule. It's not so nice when you only have one senior who's really getting a lot of minutes. All right, on that note, let's get uh, get set for the second half here as uh, it is Pittsburgh over DePaul uh, at the break. Uh, again, DePaul has lost 13 consecutive coming into this game. Uh, they're trying to avoid a 14th, which would be a school uh, record at this point. There's no real no, no sign that they're going to get that uh, first win of the conference this year. Charles and Lenny, myself, will be back on the postgame show. Dwan Blair, the story of that first half, 16 points and 16 rebounds. See you back following the game. Every month. Surprise! Surprise! My small business phone bill was way more than I expected. Way more than I expected. There were hidden fees for everything. This little hidden fee, this charge. It got out of control. Switch to Optimum Business today and get free installation. There's never been a better time to switch to unlimited calling and high-speed internet for just $29.95 a month. I switched my business to Optimum Business. To Optimum Business and I am so happy. You could save up to 60% over the phone company. Call 1-866-901-4-BIZ. With one flat rate, it's just part of my cost. The amount is the same every month. The price is the price, and that is it. And that's the way I like it. Just call. Just call the number. It's Brady. Right now, we're making switching easier than ever, even if you're still under contract. I just called the number, and they hooked me up. Optimum Online is really fast. It's faster. <laughs> it costs less. You don't have to change your number. How easy is that? Come on, it's a no-brainer. Get free installation. Switch now to Optimum Voice and Optimum Online for $29.95 a month. Hurry. Offer ends February 28th. Just call one 866 901 for biz and take back control of your business.
Call now. I decided to redecorate our living room. But no matter what I did, something didn't feel right. And then I figured it out. It wasn't the room. What? So I used the cash I got back to redecorate my husband. Earn unlimited cash back with your City Cash Returns card to make every dollar count. Whatever your story is, your City Cash Returns card can help you write it because City never sleeps. Getting set for the second 20 minutes of basketball. It's 40 to 30. Pitt leading at halftime. And Dave, let's check out some of those first half highlights. You might even see number 45 occasionally in here. Huh? A couple of times. This is early in the ball game. He just ripped the rebound away from Postage. There he is. His first basket of the game. There's the great feed from Levance Fields for the dunk. And watch him just dominate immediately. Look down the court, find Fields, trigger the break. There's a stick back. He was awesome in the first half. Finished very effectively. Showed a lot of range with his hands stepping out on the court. And there's Dar Tucker, who I thought played very well in spurts. Took a couple bad shots, but it's hard to be critical of that when you're going up against maybe the best team in America. He feels like he has got to get points for it. Well, one of the reasons they're hanging around is they were 6 of 12 shooting three-pointers. The Panthers had only two three-pointers in the first half. But this guy, 31 now career double-double, 17 this year. And all of that in 14 minutes. The Panthers will have it to start the second half. Blair, Biggs, Dixon, Young for three from the corner guy. That's his first three tonight. Gives him a dozen points in the game. And the lead goes to 13. Danger time for DePaul is the first four minutes of this half. They have got to be no worse than where they're at right now because if they get off to a quick run, Pittsburgh's one of the best second-half teams in the country. They sure are. They're very strong in the second half. Nice drive and a good finish that time by Tucker. He's got 13, closing in on his season average of about 18. I'm not sure what they do in the locker room, but somehow or other, they come out in the second half, and you better look out. Yeah, they must pass out Wheaties in the locker room. Something. <laughs> they eat their Wheaties and get going. Young thought about another three. Dixon, big from the foul line. Got it. There's that opening again in the 2-3. The ball in the latter stages of the first half did a nice job at closing out right in that Big East logo or the Big East in the middle. But then they gave up a shot on the wing. What You pick your poison in this game. Blue Demons with the ball. This is Walker from the foul line. That one is short, and there's another rebound for DeJuan Blair. Dixon, baseline move, Fields, spots for three, bending off on the rebound to Biggs. He's tied up and probably fouled on the play. That'll be the first on Dar Tucker in the game tonight. Jerry Wainwright is on his feet. Remember, Jerry had great success down at UNC Wilmington. And Richmond. And Richmond, yes. Remember him taking his Richmond club into Fog Allen Fieldhouse and beating Roy Williams and Kings. That's quite a feat. Biggs inside, spins, puts it up with the left hand and scores. In the postseason from him, that's going to help him even more. Well, Koshwal was on the backside rather than half man around, and you can't allow that kind of depth then to the pass. The pass came two and a half, three feet from the basket. It's Katie bar the door then. Left hand move, no good, tipped up. Scramble for the rebound, and it's pulled out of there by Biggs. Fields kept that play alive for the Panthers, and now a little stop and go move. Biggs is going to shoot a three, rimming out. There is Blair underneath. Can't finish that time. He was a little winded there. <laughs> well, it went into and out of the hands of Mac Koshwal. Looked like they had a good little break going there. They did. An unselfish pass is. You had Tucker and Walker coming down the court and they hit Koshwall and it just trickled off his hands. This is the 30th anniversary of their final four team for DePaul. That was a good team. The late great Ray Meyer. Yes, a lot of history in this basketball program. Unfortunately, Pitt was one of the teams they had to play twice. So was Marquette. The USF is a team they thought they could get and they didn't. Fields from outside. That's a three. 
He has not really looked to shoot the ball much tonight, but good open look, had his feet set, and he nailed it. Well, they're quickly up 18 points here, and Jerry has seen enough. He's going to call a timeout. That'll take us to a break as well. 50 32, the Panthers have the lead. You're in the market, but what do you want your numbers to add up to? Maybe a time-tested way to help reach your financial goals. At Oppenheimer Funds, we follow proven principles, like investing for the long term, so you can ride out the market's ups and downs, and perhaps end up with the second career you've always wanted. Call your advisor for prospectus with complete fund information. Read it carefully and carefully consider fund investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses before investing. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. The 2009 ESPN National Golf Challenge presented by Callaway Golf is sure to be an event to remember. Join the search for America's best twosome in any of three divisions. Low gross, low net, and the new 55 and older senior division. And don't forget the ever-popular club pro competition for those who qualify. Log on to ESPNGolf.com to register your team or golf course and start practicing so that you can join the festivities in Las Vegas. Isn't it about time you heard some good news? Hyundai has it. It's called Hyundai Assurance. Finance or lease any new Hyundai. And if in the next year you lose your income, we'll let you return it. Only Hyundai has it, along with America's best warranty. And Genesis, the luxury sedan named 2009 North American Car of the Year. Ready for the best news? Right now, the fuel-efficient Elantra comes with big cash back, with other sedans starting as low as $10,070. Good news, great deals. Hurry to your Hyundai dealer. Along with Hyundai Assurance, get $2,000 cash back now at your participating Hyundai dealer. It's Big East Basketball on SNY. It's local conference hoops as the Scarlet Knights, Red Storm, and Pirates look for some Big East wins. West Virginia at Rutgers, followed by Seton Hall at St. John's. It all starts Sunday at 3, only on SNY. SNY.TV, taking you to Port St. Lucie. Get a behind-the-scenes look at spring training with live vlogging, exclusive player interviews, and constant video updates throughout the day. Right now on SNY.TV and Metsblog.com. A 7-0 run for the Panthers. They're up 10-2 in the second half in that critical first four minutes that uh, Dave talked about for tonight. Big East Coaches Spotlight. Brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Let's take a closer look at head coach Jamie Dixon heading for his sixth consecutive trip to the NCAAs. One of the best coaches in the country. He used to say one of the best young coaches. Leave young off of it. He's a young guy, but he's one of the best coaches, period. Six straight 20 win seasons, and every year they win double digits in the Big East. So it's not as though he's fanning up against weak opponents. This guy can flat out coach. They have never lost a game in November under him. They get it inside the Koshwal. Back outside. And they work the perimeter. The shot from the corner is short. Koshwal has the rebound, and they still scramble for it. This time it's Lance Fields who comes out of there. He's got Young ahead of him. Koshwal really isn't playing the way out. Nice feed. Young finishes. The yeah. lead is 20. Piano man finished along the baseline, but Koshwal doesn't seem to be as geared into scoring right now, and I think that's because his defensive responsibility, A, is Blair, and B, he's always wondering where he is when he's trying to score. Sometimes is the problem for Notre Dame and their big man. He's terrific, but he has to do so much work that by the end of the block that, that he's pooped at the end of the game. You know, he doesn't have any legs left. Absolutely exhausted. Talk about Luke Heron. Yeah, he was uh -huh. a tremendous play. Well, he has two 20 point 20 rebound games, and he's getting ever closer to that tonight. Bazookas with it. 9 0 run now for Pitt. The buzzer, they do get it off. But Young is tripped and hits the deck. And it was unintentional, I'm sure, as he got tangled up with Koshwal, who will pick up his third foul. <laughs> 15 59 to play, Panthers by 20. From that first dollar forward, cash flow isn't just an important thing to small business. It's everything. That's why PNC is introducing your new CFO, Cash Flow Options, designed to effectively improve your cash flow 
CFO helps every dollar work harder, from the very first dollar to the last dollar of the day. Get in touch with your new CFO. PNC, leading the way. Well, living in Cramble's Gap, there's really nothing much to do but work. People work hard. Everybody's got to work hard. Got to survive. I think everybody needs a break. And welcome to Las Vegas. We're going to tear it up, dude. Drink some drinks. Try and get some ladies. Burn it down. Leave ashes. This trip has been one of the best experiences of all time. The Ford Quality Drive is here. Ford Edge has gone above and beyond my expectations. You know, I got everything I wanted and more. The sync system is all voice activated. Call Andy. Calling Andy. Hi, Steve. Get an Edge all-wheel drive SEL for just $2.99 a month at your tri-state Ford dealer today. One of the things we talk about with our guys at Villanova all the time is it's most important how they develop as men. As they grow into men and, and learn uh, to live their life for others, they'll become better players, they'll become better students. See the back pages in a whole new light as Jonah Schwartz. There's really not a question, more of a statement. Joe Beningo. Who is kidding who? Deliver the hottest New York sports topics on Daily News Live, presented by City, weekdays at 5, only on SNY. The Ford Quality Drive is here. I'm actually really, really excited with this car. I love it. The mileage was like one of the most amazing things. I'm excited to drive it every time. I'm very impressed by the quality of my Fusion. Get a Ford Fusion for just $1.99 a month at your Tri-State Ford dealer today. 52-32 is our score. The Panthers on a 12-2 run to start the second half of play. We promised you Oscar weekend. How about best picture as picked out by Dave Kaplan. There are the nominees. Well, the curious case of the Golden Eagles. They change coaches. They don't have a great inside threat, and yet they're one of the best teams in America. Husky Dog Millionaire, obviously Connecticut, and Blair Dixon off the Frost Nixon. And I'll give the winner to the Blair Dixon. Tandem, what a great job. Jamie Dixon and put on Blair again. This is Young. Bumps his man, and then the ball is picked out of there by Pazukas. Hurry back, spot for three, rims out, rebound. <laughs> this is Young, not Blair that time. They were both right there. Somebody else is allowed to get a rebound? I guess so. Fields working his way into the lane. Here comes Dixon to Young. Short jumper, rattles out. Biggs with a follow. He has played very well as a secondary rebounder there. DePaul did a good job finding Blair. Problem was, Biggs was all alone. So the lead grows to 22. The run is 14 to 2 to start the second half in that first four minutes that you talked about. Those four minutes when you're into a hostile environment, you're a decided underdog, very tough time. He tried to go to Koshwell through an his foot and out of bounds. So a turnover there. Checking back in for the Blue Demons is Kelly and Posich. Brown checks back in for the Panthers. Biggs goes to the bench. And Blair is still out there. Bazookas did everything well there. Dribbled through, got down toward the baseline, dished it off, just didn't make a good pass, obviously. Of the 18 rebounds for Blair, 10 of them are offensive rebounds. It was not a good pass, but Blair wound up and then puts it in the hole. Laughing, he just turned to Levant's field. He said, "Failed you out." That might have been a walk there, but he got away with it. <laughs> Kelly's hit three buckets tonight, playing hard. You cannot question the effort that the Paul gives each and every night. But you're going up, in my opinion, the best team in the country is the University of Pittsburgh. Certainly right there as Fields comes up short with a three, tracked down by Tucker. Dar in the middle of the stop and go move on Brown, puts it up and it rims out. Wanamaker back for the Panthers. He wants that one back. He should have made that shot. Oh, nice speed. Blair maybe a little behind the pass and couldn't get it up to the glass. Spotting for three, nails it. Good shot that time by Kelly. He's got 11 now. Good 5-0 run for DePaul. After the Panthers had a 9-0 run. 
Ashton Gibbs set to check back in for the Panthers and also along that sideline Stula will return for the Blue Demons. Advance Fields to Brown. 56 37. Good steal. Dar Tucker's doing the best he can out here. He is. He's doing a really nice job there, reading that pass, getting a hand up on it, and tracking it down. The count is on. Underneath, and I believe that Blair got a piece of that. The Panthers have numbers. Three on two. Wanamaker looks along the baseline to Young. He didn't jam that one home, but he finished the play. 16 now for Sam. Coswell just looks overmatched inside. He's a very good player, but he doesn't look like he's playing with any confidence right now. And that's not a surprise going up against the Juan Blair. 58-37, Panthers. Cut off that Blue Demon run of five in a row. Their big men have done the job. Blair with 18. Young with 16. Biggs 11. Rifle pass. And he could not hang on, so it goes out of bounds. Gibbs will check back into the Panther lineup. Golf fans, club pros. Registration for the 2009 ESPN National Golf Challenge is already underway for courses and teams in the gross net and the new 55 and older senior division. For more information, go to ESPNGolf.com. Can't wait to put the little white sphere into the air. I'm an addict. I love to play. Player to the bench. Another huge night for him. Another three pointer, and this is really the only thing that's kept them close at times is the three. They had six in the first half. Inside McGee. Squeezes along the baseline and scores. He turned it over. That'll take us to a timeout with 11.41 remaining. The Panthers up 58 to 37. Getting depressed because of all the stress I was feeling at home. Had a poor credit score and the number would haunt me wherever I'd go. But I'd move to a place where my credit could stink and nobody would care. I just wish that somebody had told me that place was a renaissance fair. FreeCreditReport.com Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom. Never mind them and singing our songs since we first showed up with our pirate hats on. If you're not into fake sword fights, pointy slippers and green wool tights. Take a tip from a knight who knows FreeCreditReport.com Let's go! The offer applies with enrollment in Triple Advantage. More Big East basketball comes your way next Saturday. St. John star Paris Horn, the Red Storm, look to move up in the Big East as they travel to the Windy City to take on DePaul. Led by high-flying Dar Tucker and big man Matt Koshwald, the Blue Demons will look to extend their win streak to three games against the Red Storm. It's the Big East game of the week on the Big East Network as St. John's takes on DePaul Saturday, February 28th at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. Someone is going on your shopping spree, and they're not buying you a thing. And they're going to look stunning. Or as one man will whisper, sublime. And people will stare as this not-you, fresh from the Roman baths, sips extra bubbly champagne. And when they finally retire to Luxury Slab, they'll enjoy something even bubblier. The life you were meant to live, Caesars, Atlantic City. For over 25 years, every player, every conversation, every ritual, every spin, every wish, has had one thing in common. Spalding, the official ball of the NBA for over 25 years. 11.41 to play. The Panthers up by 21 and all season long. Champion Apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the Big East Conference tonight. Let's take a look at the success in this building, which is almost unbelievable. It's an absolutely gorgeous building. It, they pack it every night, and they don't lose here. Phenomenal place. They've only lost 10 games since the place opened. Isn't I mean, that incredible? Yeah. 1, 12, and 10 all time. 
champion. It's how you play, and they play very well in this arena. And again, they're in the best conference in the country, so you're playing great people in here. That's right. They still have UConn to come in before their season is over. Jim Calhoun thought it was a little rough the other night. That's blocked. McGee pulls it in. Gibbs with it. Ahead to Wanamaker. Brown for three. Nice unselfish pass. Wanamaker across the court. Real nice job. Square up and knock it down. So it's 61-37. They've matched their largest lead so far in the game. As we near the midway point of the second half. Kelly gives it up outside to Stula. That's Walker. Right now, Dar Tucker is not on the court for DePaul. Oh. Deflected out of bounds. No, it was not touched. I thought it was deflected. Biggs will check back in. Also, Koshwall and Tucker return for Jerry Wainwright's club. Big East Oscars best director. Well, there's some pretty good names on that list, don't you think? Absolutely right. I mean, you got a couple legends in Calhoun and Patino, a youngster at Buzz Williams doing a great job. Jay Wright at Villanova doing an excellent job. But I give the nod. The envelope says Jamie Dixon for Coach of the Year. He was not going to win the league, I might remind you. That's right. And might just do that, and he's going to be a number one seed in the NCAAs. They're my pick to go to the Final Four, one of my four. 26-point difference, the biggest. There's the injury somewhat dampening the hopes of UConn as Tucker gets on the drive and follows his own shot, then it rolls home. That's 15 now for Dar. Sophomore from Saginaw. Dar thought he was fouled inside. A tough shot. And finishes. He's battling. He's trying to do all he can. And they're playing right now without Fields, without Young, and without Blair. He's short with that shot. Scramble for the rebound. And Tucker has it. Feeds Kelly. Jamie Dixon has a very warm spot in his part for DePaul University. His late sister Maggie who tragically passed away when she was the head coach at Army was the assistant coach to Doug Bruno and the Lady Blue Demons. Just a phenomenal lady and uh, they love her back at DePaul. I talked to Jean Lenti Ponsetto about her length to DePaul athletic director. Love Maggie. Just, loves Jamie. It was a very sad situation for the Dixon family. Koshwal on a drive scoops it up gets the roll and the basket will count. That's the first aggressive move, John, that we've seen out of him offensively. And there's no Blair in the game. Watch, he catches it, nice think and score. And he goes right to the rim. There's the touch, there's the soft basket. Real nice job to get it on the rim, soft touch, let it drop, and he'll try and get the three-point play. But Mack was not aggressive like that when Dewan Blair was in the ballgame. Well, there's good reason for that. No question. That'll take a little of your energy away. You're always looking over your shoulder when he's out there. Gibbs. The bigs to Wanamaker. Nine minutes to go in the second half. Wanamaker spins at the foul line. That one was blocked. Put it right back in his face. He tips it to McGee, who draws a foul. Get Zukas on the foul. DePaul had the ball. Mario Posic had it. It just got knocked out of his hand. You see, it's it's a real nice job defensively by Will Walker. Forces the miss. Postage has it, and I think it's Wanamaker that yeah. punches the ball free. I think you're right. Wanamaker just punched it out of there. McGee, make sure you stay behind the line after you shoot right. your free throw. First half, he had a lane violation as he followed his shot, which is unusual to have a lane violation on the shooter. Right. So two at the line. He's made three free throws in the game. It's 65-41. That's a two. Long deuce. Will Walker is a prolific scorer in high school. 
Zuka's trying to put some pressure on another freshman there, Ashton Gibbs. Gibbs is not a scorer, he's a point guard. He runs the show when he's out there. So he shoots a three. Comes up short. He says, I'll show you how to score. <laughs> Paul needs to come down now and get themselves a good shot, attack the basket. There's no Dewan Blair in there. Nice job. Posich knocks down the jumper. Timeout, Jerry Wainwright. First basket of the night for Posich, and Jerry Wainwright will take the timeout with 8.03 remaining. 20 point difference in the ballgame. It has been as many as 26. The lead for the Panthers. They have never trailed. It was a 10 point difference at halftime, and as you pointed out, Let's take a look at the best actor Oscars. Aaron Gody, McNeil, Blair, Flynn, Adrian. That's a pretty good group right there. Those are some great players. And Jeff Adrian's going to have to carry the load to Dyson down for the year with an injury. But I'm going to have to give the nod. The envelope says the winner is Luke Aaron Gody at Notre Dame. Only guy in the country. Top five in scoring. Top five in rebounding. And he doesn't get a whole lot of help. McElarney makes shots. But there really is no other solid primary scorer on that roster. That's he what I was talking player. about the other day at West Virginia. He expended so much energy. I think he scored 26 points, which was fine. But by the end of the game, there wasn't much left. No, and when you play a Bob Huggins team, you're going to face a team that is going to fight you every inch, every step of the way. I think he's one of the better coaches in the country at getting a team to play hard. I love the way Huggins kids play. Tyrell Biggs backs away. Still 15 on the shot clock. Game clock at 740. Wanamaker gives it up in the corner to Brown. He'll drive and miss the shot. Good effort on the reverse. It just didn't go. No, he made a great play along the base. He didn't finish. Tucker with a stop and go move. Draws a little bump. Misses the shot. And McGee has the rebound. Here's Wanamaker. Panthers do not have numbers. Actually two on four. Paul did a good job of getting back. Here's that head fake that time from Biggs, and he hits the shot. He's got 13 points tonight, his season high is 16. Very quietly, 13 points, but I love the head and shoulder fake. Use your dribble to recycle everything. Get back in your rhythm, and then he knocks down the shot. He's been watching Sam Young Sam over the years. What a player. With that move. Blair is set to return for the Panthers as he hits the three, does Walker. It's his third, and he's got 11. And DePaul got it back to 19 and really battled. No quit in this team. And you come in this building and you're 26 down, you could easily be looking at 40 down. Now that happened to the Blue Demons earlier this year. But as Jerry was telling me today, hey, these young guys have to learn what it's all about in this league. And sometimes you have to take your lumps. You, you want to get that foul taste out of your mouth, so. You go through this a couple years from now, you say, remember how bad that tasted? We learned. That's short, and the rebound pulled down by Walker. Big Dewan Blair is going to be coming back. 67-48. Knocks seven points off the lead, and Wanamaker rips it out of there. Takes it all away. What a steal. Ball, put the ball on the deck. A no-no for a big guy when the guards can just reach back and pluck it away. Wanamaker finishes nicely at the rim. And Wanamaker was one of the players, along with you see Robinson, who hasn't played, that Wayne Rock was talking about. These young guys come in, they pay their dues, and eventually they get better because they're going to be the ones. But he also said that the ball doesn't have any Sam Youngs or LeVance Fields to provide the kind of leadership that they need. And he's starting to heat it up a little bit as Walker. That's 14 for him, his fourth three-pointer. What a step back for him. Lead is 18. And a timeout coming up. Well, the Panthers will bring in four new players for Jamie Dixon. Comfortably in front, 69 to 51 with 5-11 to play. Special guest. Let's go with best supporting actor from you, Dave. All right. 
Best Supporting Actor, and there's some great nominees, and I look for guys that support everyone by leading the show. LeVance Fields, Dominique James at Marquette, A.J. Price, the veteran at UConn, Johnny Flynn, who I love it, with Syracuse, and Terrence Williams at Louisville. But when you look at all of it, who's playing the best as a lead guard? I'll take my favorite player in the country, LeVance Fields, over at Pittsburgh. He governs tempo when he has to make a big shot. He can be 0 for 8 like he was against UConn, and when you need a bucket, he makes the basket. Well, like a blockbuster movie, the Panthers pretty much dominated your awards, haven't they? Yes, they have. <laughs> And we are joined by Larry Fitzgerald, and it was good to see you. We had a traffic jam in front of our table here at <laughs> halftime. You were very kind to be patient, and let everybody come up and have their picture taken. Welcome back, by the well, way. Thank you so much. It's always good to be back, uh, you know, at college. I mean, this is uh, brings back a lot of fond memories. You're in the market, but what do you want your numbers to add up to? Maybe a time-tested way to help reach your financial goals. At Oppenheimer Funds, we follow proven principles, like investing for the long term, so you can ride out the market's ups and downs, and perhaps end up with the second career you've always wanted. Call your advisor for prospectus with complete fund information. Read it carefully and carefully consider fund investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses before investing. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. College basketball fans, welcome to Hartford, home of the 2009 Big East Women's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 10th at the XL Center. Catch all 16 Big East teams live with packages just $99 for all sessions. Tickets are on sale now, so call 860-525-4500 or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Hi there, Mr. Ramirez. Yeah. Did you order Ayo and Espanol? Yep. Yes. See. Sí. Ayo and Espanol brings you news, entertainment, movies, music, and sports. Everything you've been missing from Latin America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and Spain. You get over 35 of the best Spanish channels available. Call 1-877-938-6329 and bring Ayo and Espanol home to your house. Wake up. First thing? Turn on News 12. For me, it's a website. I'm an on-demand kind of guy. Local news, traffic, weather, then I'm out the door. It's all at my fingertips. News 12 to go? I can't live without it. News12.com. I log on every day. Love it. I'm constantly connected. 24-7. It's everything I want. I wish I could find a guy like that. News 12 Long Island. Only on Cablevision, not on phone company TV or anywhere else. Panthers leading by 18 with 4.55 to, to play, and we mentioned Larry Fitzgerald's return. I am uh, kind of surprised. That I know you played here, and you got this great welcome, but you scared those Steeler fans to death in the <laughs> Super Bowl, you know. I think they, they understood it wasn't personal. You know, I just, I just <laughs> trying to play hard for my team. It was a great game, and, um, you know, the Steelers are a great champion. What I found interesting, and John touched on it earlier, you're swarmed here at halftime. <laughs> you never stopped smiling. You signed every autograph, and sometimes professional athletes get a bad rap that they don't understand the fan base you comport yourself with a lot of class what well, these fans here in this building um, they, they supported me uh, when I was in college I mean I'm very appreciative of everything they did for me um, this is an outstanding university and um, I mean whenever you come back you got to be excited you want to do a little color uh, I, I don't know I don't know I don't know the uh, I could try it you know well, you could just do numbers you know what I'm saying okay you worry about names. there you go <laughs> But it's a pretty good pit basketball team, and they have been good. I mean, going back to when you were here before. Oh, they were amazing. I suppose Dixon doesn't get enough credit for the job he's done uh, here. I mean, his record his last six, seven years has been un un unbelievable. It is. It's amazing. Fields doesn't get the roll. That's one of the few rebounds that DeWan Blair didn't get. And Blair has played this whole half with these kind of numbers without making a foul in the game. It's amazing. Now, if DeWan Blair went to the NFL, where do you play him? O-line, D-line, or tight end? Now, I'm putting him at tight end. Um, with, <laughs> with those soft hands and that, and that agile feet he has, you got to put him out there on offense. you like to have him block for you. Oh, my goodness. I, I'll have him catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he is a load. They list him at 265, but I think he's a little more than that. Oh, man. It was unbelievable performance watching him against the big fella from Utah a couple, a couple yeah. days ago. I well, mean, he just he took it to him. Over his oh, back. my goodness. He set the tone early with that play. This is Dixon with it. Here is the big man. He's got 20. 
closing in on another 20 20 game. And as the score grows to 74 to 51 it's going to be a 30 second timeout. Well he does such a nice job as he rolls off the screen. Larry describe this for us. I didn't get a chance to see the play. <laughs> well he was all alone under the basket and with him. That's there's all a, you need to know. Look for you. Like he did the little slip, slip screen right there and uh, that was a great pass by the guard. And got there and finished it with two hands strong in the lane like you need to. Yeah, everybody expects the big guy to go set this punch pick. He yeah. slips slip, it. Slip it's screen. Slip, yeah. Throw it to yeah. Me. You say you don't know anything about this and you're talking about slip screens out here. I know a little something. I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't claim myself to be an expert like you guys, but I know a little something. <laughs> you know how to dress. A great jacket. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And you got into the pink action a little bit. Yeah. Too, huh? <laughs> and the Pitt women's game was here earlier. They were everybody was wearing pink. So I, I thought I would I would join it. Absolutely. It was uh, pink. The Peterson was the theme for breast cancer research and they won the game. Where do you spend most of your time in the offseason Arizona. Um, most of the offseason I'm in Minnesota and then uh, when it warms up thaws out back home in Minneapolis I, uh, I go back there. This young man's quite an athlete. Yes he is. He is. Not getting as enough help tonight so far. It's Tucker for them. That's a three on the way and go. This guy is really starting to pick it up. That's his third three pointer. He's got 11 and he's playing with more and more confidence, I think, as the season goes along. Dad very visible during the Super Bowl run. Oh yes, he was brown all the time. And, uh, you know, I'm just truly blessed to have a father that's uh, that's been there for me over the years, and I love him. We'll take a time out and come back with more. Larry Fitzgerald is our guest. His team has the lead. We've got a ton of stuff we've got to pay for, and a few things we want to pay for. On top of it all, we're still trying to put away some money for the future. With the wish list, we can save up for anything we want. And still have enough to cover the day-to-day. -day. Plus, the savings engine helps our money grow. And that's something we need and want. Introducing the virtual wallet from PNC. A high-definition online view of your money. PNC, leading the way. Own a timeshare? Turn it into cash. No more mortgage payments. Thank you, Timeshares Only. At Timeshares Only, you'll find properties from the biggest names in the industry. If you want to buy, sell, or rent, call now. Call Timeshares Only and get your free information kit with our insider secrets to buying, selling, and renting timeshares, plus receive a free $100 gift card. The over $5 billion sold in the past six months proves now can be the best time to sell. Call 800-490-0704. That's 800-490-0704. Call 800-490-0704 now. Right now at Men's Warehouse, when you buy one designer suit, you'll get one free. That's right, two suits for less than the price of one at a department store. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. The kids have been wanting to go to the Safari theme park since last summer. So we used our city cash returns card to buy the tickets and stuff. It was great to get close to the animals. But not that close. Luckily, we used the cash we got back to help pay for some body work. Earn unlimited cash back with your City Cash Returns card to make every dollar count. Whatever your story is, your City Cash Returns card can help you write it because City never sleeps. Right now at Men's Warehouse, when you buy one designer suit, you'll get one free. That's right, two suits for less than the price of one at a department store. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Tonight's Big East Network game has been brought to you by PNC, leading the way. And leading the way between us right now is Larry Fitzgerald returning to his alma mater. What is your off-season regimen like as far as when do you start thinking about the next year? Oh, I mean, as soon as, as, soon as that game was over, I mean, left a really bad taste in my mouth. So uh, now I'm eager to get back in the gym and start working out again and, uh, and get prepared for next season. 
Take us to that moment. You catch the pass, you split the defenders, and now you know I'm gone. And you're looking up at the video board, and you can see yourself. You What's know, going through your mind? At that point, I thought we had really, uh, we, we did it. I, I thought we had finished it off and, uh, you know, took down the giant that the Pittsburgh Steelers are. And uh, no, for, for a little bit, I thought we had it taken care of. Is Kurt coming back? I definitely hope so. I mean, he's an outstanding person and player, and uh, he's truly an asset. Well, I tell you what, Larry, you just got better and better and better as the season went along. McGee with a miss, tipped up and ripped out of there by Devin Hill. He has not seen many minutes tonight. Hill is 6'9 from Stanford, Connecticut. That is a three. He Tucker hits Tucker the deck. again. Yep, it's Tucker. He's got 18 points. That's his average. That's your guy. Larry likes him. I saw him on ESPN. Uh, was that last week? Catch that alley oop. Oh, it was unbelievable. He's athleticism. Do you watch a lot of TV, a lot of sports? I watch a lot of basketball. Um, you know, I really enjoy the college college game. These young men play so hard, and uh, they put so much effort into it. McGee has it stripped. Picked up, but the putback does not go from Robinson. You see Robinson getting some minutes. Did you play basketball in high school too? Yes, yes sir. I did play basketball in high school, and uh, I tried to get some playing time here with, uh, with Coach Howland, but uh, my, my head coach in college wasn't going for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my meal ticket. You're yeah. not putting him out there. Good movement by Kelly, but he's cut off by McGee, so he stops and shoots a three. Loose ball scramble is won by the Panthers. Well, you guys certainly have a really good team coming back. Yeah, I'm excited about our, our team next year. We got a couple guys we have to get taken care of this offseason, but uh, we're no different from any other ball club. Yeah, they got to get Anquan taken care of. They got to get Anquan and, and Kurt taken care of, and uh, the nucleus of our team will pretty much be the same. It is 77 to 56. We're heading for the final minute of this one. The Panthers are about to go to 25 and 2 and make it 19 in a row at home. And for the Blue Demons, unfortunately, it is going to be consecutive loss number 14. And for Jerry Wainwright, Wainwright's team, that's going to be a school record. And now some of the extra men are getting in there. This is uh, Ryan TC, Tim Fry, and probably Brown when you get in the ball game. Yes, here, here he comes. Well, the regulars have done their part. And the guys who work just as hard in practice. They're going to get a chance to get some minutes on the court. It's always rewarding to see the guys that uh, that work so hard in practice to be able to be able to get some playing time and uh, be able to go out there and show what they've been working on. So yep. right. get a little taste. Yeah. Try for three. Yeah. Slot is the crossman all night. <laughs> 80-56. Here comes the answer at the other end. Walker with 17 points. And he has five three-pointers. Just one two-pointer. We're in the closing seconds of the game. We certainly want to appreciate Larry Fitzgerald for stopping by and being part of our telecast. And that's going to count. No shot. No, no way, no. NBA continuation. <laughs> You have a favorite team in another sport? Baseball, maybe? A baseball fan? I'm a huge, I'm a huge Minnesota Twins fan. I grew up Joe, with Joe Maurer in the Twin Cities area, so I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a big Twins fan. It hurt me it hurt me bad last year when they lost that tie record to the, uh, to the White Sox. Now they just signed Joe Creedy today. Oh, yeah. I saw that. And uh, I mean, I think we just got to stay healthy. I think we have a really good chance of uh, making that playoff push. Is a finishing basket by Koshwal to get him in double figures with 10. That'll do it. 80 61 is the final. Panthers scored 40 points in each half. The Blue Demons scored 30 in the first half and 31 in the second half. And as they are congratulating each other along the sideline, Larry, we again appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with us. We're going to be talking to the head coach of the Panthers, Jamie Dixon, a little bit, but good luck to it's you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. All thank, the best to thank, you. Thank you very much. Larry Fitzgerald on hand to see his alma mater put away another victory. 80 to 61 is the final. We will be back. It's over here at the Peterson Center, 80 to 61. Jamie Dixon's Panthers win their 25th of the season. They go to 12 and 2 in Big East Conference play, and Jamie joins us right now. Uh, 
give your overall assessment and how the team came out and played after that big win on Monday night. You play a team that's lost 13 in a row. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, they're a team that can, can make shots, and I thought they did throughout the game. DePaul, they've got some guys that can score, they can go one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, they shot the ball well from three. So, you know, we came out, you get a 20-point win, you, you're, you're happy with it. I thought we did some good things. thought we really played better in the second half as far as unselfish. Got a lot of guys, a lot of minutes, and, uh, you know, that was an opportunity uh, to do that. So uh, it was good for a lot of reasons, and, uh, again, it's the 25th win of the year, and uh, I'm happy with uh, how we handled that. Your guy, Dewan Blair, is an absolute man inside and boy did he get started quickly yeah he did and uh, we missed some open shots and that led to re him rebounding um, he finished uh, uh, pretty well gets a lot of his own rebounds too oftentimes but uh, yeah he's he's uh, uh, we get the ball to him inside and he's uh, doing a great job finishing and running the floor in transition so you know we, we could have defended better I thought that was something we uh, uh, could do better as a team but he's uh, obviously getting better and better every day you've got a couple of road trips coming up one to uh, Providence another one to Seton Hall then you come back to finish up against Marquette and yeah. UConn and it's never easy no matter who you're playing no I mean obviously I mean it's uh, gonna be a, a big game for us uh, Providence uh, we'll start looking at some stuff tonight and getting ready for them but uh, their team is playing for their uh, NCAA uh, bid and uh, that's why uh, you know pretty much everybody is in our conference so um, every game is, is, is a challenge and uh, we know they can shoot it we got to defend better against them tonight uh, again uh, we've got to improve as a defensive team in these next two days coach when you look at putting a schedule together and then you look at your conference do you think, oh, my God, every game can be a landmine in a league like this? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to get around the top schedule in the country, non-conference non and overall. So, I mean, it's we're, we're right there. I think our strength of schedule six or seven or something. So, you know, it takes some guesswork. But, uh, you know, with our conference, you're going to be up there on top. And then we, we schedule well in the non-conference. So, uh, you know, we, we, did, we took care of business. I think uh, this is a game that uh, we should have won. And, and I thought we did uh, the things that we needed to do. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, learn some things from this because you learn from every game. Let's show you a little bit on tape. If you look at your monitor there, Jamie, of some of the heroics of Blair in this game. And as Dave pointed out, he was on fire right from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, he was, uh, uh, you know, he was uh, uh, around the glass, and uh, we're, 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 trying to, we're, not, we're trying to get the ball inside to him, but again, he was making and getting offensive rebounds, and, and Gary did a good job, too, when he got in there and got a lot of rebounds, too, so, you know, it was good. We got a, a lot of guys on man, so obviously I didn't play uh, Sam Levance and, and uh, DeWan as much as they normally play for obvious reasons, and, uh, you know, I think that was uh, important, and our guys handled that well. I Talk know. about from being a head coach having a guy like LeVance Fields who maybe when you show up at the gym to first watch him play, you go, he's not the biggest guy, not the biggest jumper, but man, oh man, does he know how to run what you want. Yeah, I mean, he's got a great feel. I don't know what his numbers were as far as, I know he was five assists, no turnovers in the half, and in the second half he was just as good, so uh, he really has an understanding. He's smart, he has, he's competitive, you know, things that you want uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in, a, in a point guard, and uh, he's getting better, too. You know, he's a senior that's uh, improved each year, and he's playing his best basketball right now as a senior. I would like you to make one comment as we take a look at some more of the highlights here about Levance Fields and what he means because sometimes he doesn't make a lot of baskets but it seems to me Jim every time you need a big basket he's right there for yeah you. I mean that's what he does he makes uh, big shots and he, he lets it come to him and to the second half he got to hit a couple he got it going um, so you know he's he, he knows he, he tests the defense he he he, get, he takes what the defense gives and uh, sometimes that'll be after he's hurt him with their his penetration his passing ability uh, then it becomes uh, uh, you know getting some open shots for himself, but he, he's looking for a team first and and uh, that's why we're where we're at right now with the number one RPI and and uh, You know putting ourselves in a pretty good position, but we got some tough games left tough games left and you have April 4 and 6 Dewan Blair says he has a picture of Ford Field on his wall in his room And he says that's all I look at I keep thinking about where we should be <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, we're looking at Providence. You know, we've lost uh, two games this year, and uh, uh, Ford Field didn't matter too much then. So uh, <laughs> we, we need to get ready for Providence and, and be focused on them. And that's why we've been successful here, I think. I think it's our ability to focus on the task at hand. And it's it's Providence. We have to we have to guard better than we did tonight, or they, they can really shoot it. And if they get shot, they make shots early, uh, they can really uh, uh, grow confidence-wise and, and become uh, a team that uh, ha has some very good wins this year so again a very good play a uh, very good team and and uh, gonna be a, a great challenge for us on Tuesday Jamie Dixon congratulations okay. thank you guys thank you 199 games and you've won most of them <laughs> <All right. laughs>
the head coach of the Pittsburgh Panthers. They win 80 to 61 as the final over DePaul. Stay with us. Back to the Peterson Event Center. We'll be Welcome back inside our Midtown studios for the Big East postgame show. Gary Apple sitting alongside the former Big East player of the year. That's Charles Smith and our SNY Big East insider Lenny Robbins. 80 to 61. Uh, Pittsburgh running the record to 25 and 2. 12 and 2 in the Big East. And Len, is it me or is this former uh, Pitt star just had this smile on his face? Even when we're watching the game, he can't wipe it off his face. I mean, Charles. Well, we'll share one of those inside secrets. We make him go into another room. We do. Huh? But what can you say about DeJuan Blair? I mean, he comes off a game where he is just spectacular against Hashim Thabit, and you think maybe there's going to be a little bit of a letdown. He had 16 points and 16 rebounds at halftime. I what, do you mean, see from, the what do you see from him, Charles? Because uh, the 18 rebounds, 10 of them were on the offensive end. Yeah, I mean, he knows that uh, where his points are going to come from on the offensive board. So he's really targeted that. He said that publicly, that he's going to try to pick up every rebound that the guys miss because that's where he's going to get a lot of his points. And he's doing it. You can see the fun he's playing with right now, the confidence that he's playing with right now. You see the big smile on his face. I think he believes he can control just about every game he's, he's playing in. Uh, at the guard position, we heard Jamie Dixon a moment moment ago talking about Lee Vance Fields, and he threw one of the best passes we've seen in a in a long time. Watch this. I mean, he just sees the floor, controls the game so well, Len. But I mean, amazing it's the vision, the fact that he did it left-handed, the fact that he was patient enough to wait for the defense to react, and then he saw the guy go baseline. This is why I'm in love with the guy. I have true man love. For him. You know what amazes me, and I'll just uh, go right by that because that scared me when I when I heard that. Uh, we talk so much about Fields, and we talk about Blair, but you know the guy who gets lost. In all this is is Sam Young and he led them uh, the other night in the win over Connecticut he had 16 tonight he sort of gets lost in the shuffle but he's a tremendous scorer for Jamie Dixon yeah but you know Sam may get lost in the shuffle at the end of the day uh, according to how we see the game and who's getting the limelight and Blair is getting all the uh, the headlines but Sam is right there he's been consistent all year long uh, people in the next level look at him and they 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 marvel at his ability and how much he's improved year after year. So this team is content. They know what their role is. They know what they do and they get out and perform as a team. Pittsburgh very tough to beat in their building. They're 17 or no on the season at the Peterson Event Center. Uh, 113 and 10 all time in that building. Lenny, you've spent many a nights there. What is it about that building that makes it so tough for us? Well, you know, I spoke to Barry Rorson, who's now the head coach at Miami. Used to be, uh, Manhattan, excuse me, used to be the assistant coach at Pittsburgh. Everybody in the city knows him as Slice. And what they did at the Peterson Event Center is they built the practice court almost adjacent to the stadium court. So the kids are playing on a court that dimension-wise and setup-wise is exactly like the one they're going to play on. So basically, you're playing on the same kind of court that you're practicing on. That's got to be a help, not to mention the fact that the luxury boxes are right down there and the Charles Smith fan club is on the baseline. They're everywhere, by the way. So uh, DePaul 0 oh, and 14 now in the Big East. It is the first time they have uh, gone that way in the history of the conference, and so not a good night for Jerry Wainwright. It's been a tough season for him, to say the least. Now, how about the number one team in America, at least for the moment, because it's going to change when the polls come out on Monday. But Connecticut trying to bounce back from their loss to Pittsburgh, taking on South Florida as we get a look at the big guy, Ashim Thabit, early on. Huskies had a 9-0 lead, but back come the Bulls. Chris Howard from downtown, and then about three minutes later, Dominique Jones in the open floor, and he's a pretty good-looking sophomore. Yeah, I think he's really good. I mean, he's got a great body, and he's one of these kids who they're putting the ball in his hands and letting him develop some point guard skills because that's probably where his future is going to be if he can make it at the next level. The beat then imposing his will. He had six blocks in the game. And Kemba Walker, the freshman, getting to the goal. Huskies led by 11 at the break. And then second half, the Bulls trying to hang. Howard to the aforementioned Jones. The Bulls cutting the lead to six. But then A.J. Price goes to work and the beat goes to work. Let's talk about Price first and then the beat. Well, when you look at Price, we know that he's a scorer. He's a legitimate scorer. And with the, the fact that he's come into this game, they need more out of him. He's giving the team exactly what they need. And then Thabit finishing inside right there. Uh, he had 21 and 9 rebounds to go along with those 6 block shots as UConn gets the win 64-50. to 50. And Jim Calhoun picking up his 799th 
career win. He can make it 800 this week when they go up against uh, Marquette. But that's a, a tremendous milestone, Letty, for, for Coach Calhoun. It really is. And, you know, there are so many of them now. I mean, where do you draw the line and, you know, almost 800 wins, Hall of Fame, two national championships. But to me, the thing more than anything else that he's done is, you know, he has put Connecticut in the same category as Duke, Kentucky, Indiana, UCLA. There's no other program in the country that 20 years ago was where Connecticut was and where they are now. There's no one else who's been able to join that fraternity. And that's amazing to me. Connecticut getting their 25th win of the year. That is uh, 11 times now in 20 seasons that they have won uh, at least 25 games. And uh, Charles, when you were at Pittsburgh, did, did you look at Connecticut in the light that we look at them now? Or is this something that has uh, just come upon, say, the last 10 years? Well, Connecticut was one of my last three choices. It was Villanova, Connecticut, and obviously Pittsburgh. But at that time, uh, stores Connecticut, and you take. I took a visit there with their 7,000-seat <laughs> stadium. And I mean, you had to take a bus to go to the convenience store. It's nothing like it is now. It's its own city. And if it was like that, then yeah, it'd be a different story. But uh, it was not like it is now today. We might be talking about Charles Smith, the former <laughs> Connecticut Husky. On that note, let us get to break. When we come back, more Big East action from today. Notre Dame and Providence in big games as they both look to keep their slim tournament hopes alive. Charles and Lenny, myself, we're back on the postgame show from Midtown in a moment.